A new movement laboratory has opened in Melbourne for patients learning to walk after losing a limb or suffering neurological disorders. Health reporter Karen O'Sullivan has the story. By simply walking along this pathway, patients have 3D images of their movement beamed up onto this screen. Today, patient Zoe Creelman, who lost her lower leg in a boating accident, is being assessed so that her new prosthesis can be fine-tuned. She has been fitted with sensors so that her movements are captured by the infrared cameras around the room. I'm hoping it really helps tailor the prosthesis so I can get the most out of it. It's not only amputees who benefit from the movement laboratory. Patients with neurological disorders like MS, Parkinson's and stroke can also be assessed. Rehabilitation is often seen or felt like the poor cousin in medical research uh, will no longer with this movement lab. Doctors have been limited to visual observation when diagnosing movement disorders. Now patients with the most complex problems who use the movement laboratory can have intervention programs designed to improve their walking and balance. I think it's quite motivating for them to come and use technology and it's like a bit like Star Wars really. The Movement Laboratory is a joint project between the University of Melbourne and the Royal Melbourne Hospital. It's the first of its kind available to adult public patients in an Australian hospital.